Hi, I'm Dr. Shobana. I'm one of the consultants at the Singapore uh, General Hospital Department of Renal Medicine. What do you work as? I, I work as a kidney specialist in Singapore General Hospital. Um, and do you know anything about kidneys? No, okay. Kidneys are extremely important organs in the body. They are part of our rubbish system, rubbish chewed system. So it gets rid of all the toxins in our bodies. Can you make them well again? Yes, that's why I do my job. So we are able to help our patients do something called dialysis. And that helps to remove some of the rubbish that accumulates in your body, some of the bad things. Oh, no. um, but it's not a perfect treatment because it's not able to remove the rubbish the same way that our kidneys do. So it's only able to remove maybe about 60 to 70%. So 30% of the body uh, of the toxins still remain in the body. Do they have to do that forever? Dialysis. Yeah, I you know some patients they, they do end up doing dialysis forever, but it's not the best treatment. So like I was saying, it's better to have your own rubbish tube system. So if it's possible, it's much better to get a transplant. What happens if the donors remain in Usually uh, we're very careful about who we select. So we make sure that the donor is extremely healthy. Um, and before we allow them to donate the kidney, we make sure that um, there's no harm to themselves or the harm that the possible harm is extremely low. So uh, most donors who have given or shared one of their kidneys usually um, are generally very, very healthy people in the first place. So um, they usually come back to see us every year and we make sure that their health status is still very good. Um, we also make sure that they know how to take good care of themselves. So a lot of studies have actually shown that most donors, they live as long as everybody else and the chance of kidney failure is actually only less than 1%. Who can be a donor? Well, anyone can be a donor to be honest. So um, to be a living donor, it's a bit different. So we need people who are of legal age, so generally about 21 years of age. And um, as I mentioned, they need to be fairly healthy. Um, so there are some conditions that we don't let people donate. If, for example, they have diabetes, have you heard of diabetes? It's everywhere like in Singapore now. It's like a dog and Yes. yes. Nope. Um, so when people have diabetes, for example, they can't eat if um, they, they have uh, heart problems or if they have uh, uh, some other important medical conditions like cancer that they're being treated for, um, these people don't, uh, are not able to do it. Mm -hmm.